Okay, so this is a video on how to take a mural and turn it into a multi-page PDF. Um, so the first thing to do is actually get it into uh, a size that Illustrator can actually work with. Um, and what I mean by that is, is that sometimes the images that we bring into murals are so high res that even if you've got a beast of a computer like mine, um, it'll trip up Illustrator and you'll get like these weird images that look like they're, you know, like cut at a, di at a diagonal and um, they, they just don't show up properly. If you take a look at this, I've got a, a very old um, uh, virtual facilitation workshop uh, mural that I've downloaded as a PDF from Mural, okay? So if you go up to the upper right-hand corner, there's that place where you can actually download it as a PDF, and as you know, you get a link. Um, so that's the first step, is to download it as a PDF. Now, sometimes when you get that email, it will say, hey, do you want to download this as a low or a high res? Um, although you'd think you'd want to download it as a high res just so it's better quality, actually download it as a low res PDF, because then it's more compressed and it's, even, it's easier to work with. Um, even if it's downloaded as a low res, sometimes it's super big. I'm not sure if you can see this one, but this is one from a virtual facilitation workshop that I did back in January of last year. And uh, this one was 128 megs. So this is a monster file, right? Um, so the first thing I'm going to do before I even open it in Illustrator is I'm going to compress this. Because again, if I don't do that, then some of these images are not going to render properly in Illustrator. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do it inside uh, Acrobat. You can compress it, but I like to use a third-party piece of software that's called Small PDF. Okay, it's a web-based service unless you actually pay for it. Uh, I chose to go ahead and pay for it just so it's integrated and to uh, tighten up my workflow a little bit. And so here's what that looks like um, for me, since I've paid for for Small PDF. And I forget how much it is. It's like ten bucks. It's completely worth it. You right click and then you click compress and then the small PDF dialog box will pop up and it's all ready to go. All you got to do is push this red button. There we go. That red button right there where it says compress. It compresses it and it's taken it from 126 megs down to 11 megs. Okay, so it works very well. Then in Illustrator, okay, I'm going to click on the one that says compress and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It's going to give you all these prompts which say, hey, some of this text is going to be outlined and some of these fonts you don't actually have. That's perfectly okay. Just go ahead and hit close. All it will do is set it to just a generic font like this one right here. Okay. If it's kind of highlighted, that tells you that uh, your system doesn't have the same font that Illustrator does. Um, I'm sorry, that Mural does. And so one of the things that I've started doing is only using Mural fonts that I know that I have. Mural's got some amazing fonts, but if my system doesn't have it, I try to avoid them just so I don't wind up with this problem, okay? All right, so let's actually get into how to do this. I'm gonna zoom way out, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the whole layer, okay? So the layer's locked, and then I'm going to select the artboard tool. That's the thing that looks like a page with a like a, a little bit of a targeting reticle over the upper left-hand corner of it. You can get to the artboard tool by hitting Shift O. And that will show you the edges of your artboard around uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the canvas. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the lower right-hand corner and I'm gonna shrink this thing down to what I want the first page to be, okay? In this case, it's the landing page for the virtual facilitation workshop. Um, and then since I've already got the, uh, the artboard tool selected, I'm just gonna draw where I want the next page to go. And then I'm gonna draw where I want the next page to go. And then I'm gonna draw the next page and then so forth and so on. Now, one thing that you can do is that if you've got a page that's got a whole lot of content on it and you want to have almost like a close up, um, you can just draw another artboard inside it. Let's say that I really wanted to, uh, let me zoom in a little bit better so you can see it. Let's say that on this page, for example, I really wanted to call out the mural toolbar that shows up when you click on a sticky note. I can draw a an artboard over top that section and then just you know draw another one like this over top of it. So now I've got, see where it says artboard nine, that's the entirety of the slide. And then artboard eight is uh, that 
close up for lack of a better word. I'm going to do a save as once I've gone through all of these, I'm not going to do that here just for the sake of, you know, time. I'm going to do a save as I'm going to save it as a PDF. It's going to give me a prompt. I'm just going to say, okay. All right. All right. Now let's take a look at it. So here, here's the, uh, here's the file. And if I mouse over it, you can see it is reverted to being a very large file. Okay. So it's uh, back to being 50 megs. So I'm going to compress it again. The first time is just so that Mural or that Illustrator can use it. The second time is to make it palatable for our clients so that you can actually send the sucker by email. And once I've compressed it again, uh, you can see it is down to now 12 megs, still pretty big, but workable. And remember, this was 100 odd megs when we got started. So this is much, much smaller than when, when it actually started. Um, most of my murals aren't near that size anymore. But now when I open this up, okay, the first one is still there because I left it, but every other page is carved out as its own page within the PDF, okay? And there's that zoomed in, right? Um, there's that close-up uh, artboard that I wanted to show you before. This is ready to go to clients. All it needs is a good email from you and a big smile. I hope this was helpful.